The James Webb Space Telescope just sent us some pretty wild stuff from the exoplanet Proxima b. Every new picture brings up even more questions, and some experts are getting nervous. It makes you wonder about what's out there, especially this planet that seems kind of close to Earth. Could there be another planet with bad intentions hanging around? Could Proxima b be warning us about something? People have been interested in aliens for ages. Now, with things like the James Webb Space Telescope, we can actually look into it a bit more. But the universe isn't giving up its secrets easily. We're using the best tools we've got to peek at these far-off places, hoping to find some kind of sign of life. We gotta stay optimistic, but every new photo and piece of info reminds us that we still don't know much. These discoveries are cool, but they also show how huge and complicated the universe is, leaving us with way more questions than answers. Figuring out a planet like Proxima b could change how we see our place in everything. For scientists, it's a thrill. But for most people, it just feels like another space story. It's far away, complicated, and sometimes overwhelming. These discoveries make you think about how it all affects us here. Could Proxima b have life or even smart life that could be a danger to us one day? Even with the James Webb Space Telescope being super powerful, it can only show us so much. Sure, we've learned some mind-blowing things, like having awesome new pictures of Proxima b and realizing the universe is bigger than we thought. But what's next? What these discoveries could mean is a big deal. Proxima b was found back in 2013, thanks to how it messes with its star's gravity. It was like discovering a new neighbor in space. Proxima b is a bit bigger than Earth and goes around its star every 11.2 days. It's a fascinating thing to look at. The idea of another world so close to us is really exciting for scientists. But it's hard for most people to relate to a place that's 25 light years away. To get an idea, even the fastest rocket we've made would take centuries to get there. Imagine standing on Proxima b. Its star, Proxima Centauri, would look like a dim red light, cooler and darker than our sun. Proxima b goes around its star so fast that a year there is only a little over seven days. One side of the planet always faces the star, so it's stuck in daylight, while the other side is always dark. It sounds like something from a sci-fi book, but it would be way more extreme. On the sunny side, any water would boil away because it's always hot. On the dark side, it would freeze solid. Plus, Proxima Centauri isn't as calm as our sun. It sends out dangerous flares and radiation, making the surface of Proxima be a pretty rough place to live. It's not exactly a vacation spot. Interest in finding life out there spiked in 2020 when scientists picked up a weird signal from the Alpha Centauri system, where Proxima Centauri is. The signal had a strange frequency of 982.551 MHz, and it made people take notice. Could be a sign of advanced tech, but it's too early to say for sure. More recently, the James Webb Space Telescope got everyone pumped by hinting that Proxima b might have water vapor in its atmosphere. Water is key for life as we know it, so that's a big deal. To figure out how much water is there, scientists are using cool tricks like spectroscopy. This helps them spot the gases around the planet. By studying the light from the planet, they can find gases like oxygen, methane, and carbon dioxide, which are all important for life. Another thing they do is climate modeling. By using computer simulations of Proxima b's climate, scientists can guess what it's like there. These models are like how researchers use fossils to figure out what dinosaurs looked like. But the more we learn about Proxima b, the more we remember how amazing life is here on Earth. Take extremophiles, for example. These are tiny creatures that can live in crazy places like hot springs, acidic lakes, and Antarctica. They prove that life can handle conditions we thought were impossible. Could life on Proxima b be just as tough? Looking for life on Proxima b is super tough, not just because of the travel, but also because it's hard to prove that life could even exist in such a harsh place. The planet gets blasted by space radiation, and its atmosphere might not protect it much. Plus, the distance is so far that we need new ways to get around. Ideas like solar sails, particle propulsion, and even warp drives are interesting, but they're still just ideas. While dreaming about going to space is fun, we need to be realistic. Finding life on Proxima b has a ton of problems, both with tech and science. We can only hope to figure out these distant worlds by getting better tech and understanding the universe more. 
It's not just about being curious. It's about pushing what we can do. Will we ever set foot on Proxima B or talk to someone there? Thinking about the long trip to Proxima B makes finding aliens feel less like sci-fi and more like something that could actually happen. This shift has gotten groups like Breakthrough Initiatives interested. They're putting money into making this long trip, which could take thousands of years, into a mission we could finish in decades. The idea of reaching another star system in our lifetime is starting to feel real to scientists. But these big ideas run into the reality of our tech. Even though we've gotten better at space exploration, getting to Proxima Centauri, even at just 4.2 light years away, is still a huge challenge. Our current rockets just aren't fast enough to make it there in a reasonable amount of time. The Breakthrough Starshot project is thinking about using lasers to push small spacecraft to speeds of up to 20% of the speed of light. It sounds cool, but it's still experimental and has a lot of problems to solve, like protecting against space junk and talking to the spacecraft over long distances. While the dream of reaching Proxima Centauri and finding aliens is closer than ever, it's still held back by our tech. Getting a spacecraft to near light speed with what we have now is really hard. It's like trying to solve a puzzle in the dark. Even Starshot, which wants to send a spacecraft to Alpha Centauri using lasers, faces big challenges. The Earth's atmosphere messes with the lasers, making it hard to aim accurately. One idea is to use adaptive optics, which are smaller lasers on satellites that adjust for the atmosphere. This would help the big lasers stay on target as the spacecraft travels. But the laser method needs a ton of power, like all the energy the U.S. uses in a year, and it would only work for a short time. Imagine setting up 100 million lasers just to push a small spacecraft to 20% of the speed of light. At that speed, it would still take 22 years to reach Alpha Centauri, which is longer than many people live. But getting to Alpha Centauri isn't just about tech. There are natural problems too, like the sun's gravity, space junk, and the huge distance. Even talking to a spacecraft on its way to Proxima B would be hard. It would take almost four years for a message to get there. Even with all these challenges, the desire to explore other star systems is still strong. It's more about our love for exploring than about needing to. Even ambitious projects like Starshot face many practical challenges. But solving these problems could change space exploration forever. Still, the potential dangers, including communication delays and natural hazards, require careful planning. All things considered, many scientists believe the rewards are worth it. Finding life elsewhere in the universe, especially on a planet like Proxima b, is worth pursuing. Although the difficulties may seem overwhelming at times, the search for knowledge and the future of humanity in space remain incredibly hopeful. In the future, the question won't just be whether we can reach Proxima b or other distant stars, but how soon we will this and make new discoveries that will change our understanding of our place in the universe. As the search for life beyond Earth gets more intense, Proxima B continues to capture the imagination of scientists and the public. The possibility that it could harbor life or even intelligent life raises profound questions about our place in the universe. While researchers explore the potential for such life, the challenges of its existence are huge. The harsh conditions on Proxima B make it an unlikely candidate for life as we know it. Yet, it also reminds us of how adaptable life on Earth can be. Understanding the extreophiles that live in Earth's most hostile environments gives us hope that maybe life elsewhere could survive. In recent years, space telescopes like James Webb have greatly improved our ability to study distant worlds like Proxima B. These instruments provide a window into the atmospheres of exoplanets, showing complex details about their composition. By looking at the chemical signatures of these worlds, astronomers can guess whether conditions exist that could support life. These observatories, while limited, are a key part of the growing knowledge about planets outside our solar system. They offer a glimpse of the vast, uncharted territories that might one day hold the key to answering the age-old question. Are we alone in the universe? The study of Proxima B also shows the importance of teamwork between different fields. Astronomy, physics, biology, and even philosophy all come together in the search for extraterrestrial life. While astronomers look at distant stars and planets, biologists study how life could survive in extreme environments, and physicists are working towards new space travel. 
The pursuit of knowledge about Proxima b and other exoplanets is a collaborative effort. A key part of the search for life beyond Earth involves the idea of the habitable zone. Proxima b sits in the habitable zone of its star, where liquid water could exist on its surface. But being in the habitable zone doesn't guarantee that a planet can support life. A lot of other things like a planet's atmosphere, magnetic field, and the stability of its orbit have to be considered. Proxima b, for example, might be subject to radiation from its star, which could strip away its atmosphere and make it less suitable for life. The presence of water vapor in Proxima b's atmosphere is a highlight. Water is often considered key ingredient for life, and its discovery on planet is a sign that we may one day find evidence of extraterrestrial life. But just because there's water doesn't mean there's life. The conditions on Proxima b could be so extreme that life would have impossible even with water. This the scientist's challenges looking life beyond Earth. The study of Proxima b also has implications for our future. If we ever hope to visit other star systems, the lessons learned from Proxima b will be amazing. Technologies developed to study exoplanets could one day be used in missions to explore these worlds directly. Concepts like interstellar probes, advanced propulsion systems, and autonomous spacecraft could open the exploration. But the huge distances, the idea of sending a probe to Proxima b or other nearby stars a far-off dream, the technology this dream closer, the dream of reaching other star systems also is a reflection on our future on Earth. As we look to the stars, we are reminded of the fragility of life on our own planet. Environmental degradation, climate change, and geopolitical tensions all present challenges to our way of life. The pursuit of space exploration, particularly the search for life beyond Earth, is that our is our survival depend our and adapt to new environments on Earth and beyond. As the James Webb Space Telescope and other instruments provide new data, Proxima B will with each discovery. The of what we universe expand, while Proxima B world, study valuable the search broad. For how learn about in as on continue new hour of the vast beyond.